Stephen Sondheim and George Firth's well-loved musical about the ups and downs of three old friends has returned to London. We're here at the Menyer Chocolate Factory to talk to the stars of Merrily We Roll Along. Why do so many people love Merrily We Roll Along? Oh, well, I know a lot of actors love it and anyone I told that I was doing this show um, just looked green with envy. I think that they're just amazing roles, all three, well actually all, all five or six of the principals are incredible parts. It's fantastic, it's a show I've wanted to do forever. Um, I first became aware of the show when I was about 14 years old and I've been singing it in my front room kind of ever since so it, you know, it means a lot to me and I I auditioned for the Donmar production, which was 12 years ago, I think, and had, it hadn't worked out for me. So I thought, well, that's my chances of playing Mary gone. And then I heard that they're casting it older, and my ears pricked up, and I thought, oh, oh gosh, how much older? For people who don't know what Merrily is, can you describe it briefly? <laughs> You know, in a nutshell. It's a very difficult show to describe the plot of in a, in a nutshell, but it's it's basically a story about a, about a one-time Broadway composer who um, who sold out and turned to commercial work when he should have been doing creative work, and then ended up, against his own better judgment, being a Hollywood producer. But that <clears throat> that story is very much told through another story, which is his friendship with his two best friends, Charlie and Mary. I think that the main attraction to this show uh, with everyone is the universal theme of compromise is that we all go through our life and we always you know make little adjustments we start out with the the biggest dreams and we always just kind of compromise a little bit as we go through life and you get 10 years down the track and you realize you've actually compromised quite a bit i think if you if you watch the show as a 20 year old you like these stuff when they're young and they're auditioning for work and, and they're writing and they're full of bright ideas yet the older stuff appeals to the older audience who then can see all the mistakes that they make along the way and their, their youthful optimism is heartbreaking because we've all been there and gone yeah I shouldn't have let that friendship go or that she was the great love of my life and I lost her. I don't think people realize how small this theater is. Mm. How does it feel to be that close to your audience? Quite liberating actually because you don't actually have to do anything. You can just, uh, all you need to do is uh, is know the show, know your lines, know your intention and just play it. And the beautiful thing about this show specifically as well is that you're not in charge of any kind of uh, arc that happens throughout the show. All you can do is really just play the scene. And so that, combined with the fact that the audience is right there, you don't really need to do anything. It's quite liberating. This show notoriously flopped on Broadway when it debuted, but it sold out here, it just extended and it's acclaimed. So tell me about having that experience. Gosh, the, the whole experience has been completely intense. I've never done a Sondheim before, so um, to be playing this role uh, is, yeah, uh, there was a lot of pressure. And also, he was in the first preview, um, which was incredibly intense. It was the first preview that Sondheim came to? Yeah, he came to the first preview, and um, luckily he, he loved it and was in floods of tears afterwards. And um, it was very moving, actually, because he, he, he very much wanted George Firth to still be around to have to have seen it work, which was lovely to hear from him. These are very lovely presents to have, you know, and for so many young people in musical theatre, the opportunity for them to meet him. I mean, he's a lot of people, as we know, he's most people in musical theatre. He's their hero, so it's always it's always beautiful to watch the younger cast members kind of going, oh, I can't believe I've met Steve Sondheim, and he's always gracious and friendly and and happy so it was lovely to see him. seemed to really enjoy it. Then you know what, what sort of conversation can you have when you're meeting God? So.